I said we got to win. He wants to pull out. He wants everybody to know our plan. That's not smart. If you got a plan in order to win, are you going to tell the enemy? He's not going to, the enemy's not going to tell us. <clears throat> that is absolutely unbelievable that anybody would take that approach. He says our president don't have a plan. If, I, I think he's got one, but he's not going to tell everybody in the whole world. <laughs> and if you want, if you want to go out and spar for a fight, are you going to tell your enemy what your plan is? I don't think so. And that's the way we'll win it, because we want to win it. I got to answer this. Is it possible we had a minute and a half this first? No. We'll go on to our next question. Mike Sark, a question oh, for Senator Tester. Well, I think I'll go off my script a little bit and uh, continue this discussion. Thank you. Uh, Senator Tester, what, what is your plan for, what would be your plan for Iraq, and, and what do you think the President's plan is? The President's plan right now is to stay there, keep doing the same thing, and it's going to turn this war over to the next President. I don't think that's a plan. The fact is, is right now, there is no plan because the President has said, we're staying there. That's the way it is. You know? He went in under false pretenses. Weapons of mass destruction, nuclear weapons, never came about. We pulled troops out of Afghanistan to fight the war in Iraq. Afghanistan was the war on terror. Osama bin Laden still runs free. Al Qaeda still runs free. Because we're dealing with a war in Iraq, quite frankly, that there's no leadership on, and we're losing young people every day, and it's costing us $8 billion a month that our kids are going to have to pay for. I'm not after telling our opponents what we're going to do. The fact is, is we don't know what we're going to do over there right now, and the military has done a great job. They've done a marvelous job, but our political leadership has not. Yeah. Again, he says there's no plan. There is a plan. We're not going to tell you, John. We're not going to tell you what our plan is because you just go out there and blow it. Period. My heavens, that's just common sense. Enough. I just want to say one thing. Wait a minute. Okay. Hold on. This is his response. His last response. His last word. And then we'll move on. No, I don't, I don't think he has. I, I don't think he's out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> Mike asked me a question, I answer, you get the answer, I get the answer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, it's interesting, Senator Burns, because I listened to some of your comrades on TV just last week that came back from Iraq. I guess they don't know the plan either. Chairman of the Armed Service Committee doesn't know the plan, but you do. Um, because the Chairman of the Armed Services Committee said, if things don't change, we're going we're to change things. We need to have a plan. Okay, now it's time for a